It's so scary how easy this thing hits 25. If I can hit today, I'll be happy with the That's a scary leaderboard to be pushing, my man. I can't believe I just said that sentence. You know, we are so preoccupied with whether or not we could, we didn't ask ourselves if we should. Welcome to the 100 volt Val. One wheel build, oh my God, this thing is crazy. If you guys haven't seen the video, this video right here, be sure to check it, pause this video right now. I don't even care if it screws up our algorithm or whatever, pause the video and go watch it. This dude, Stanley out in Australia, he's part of Val Systems or he's the guy at Val Systems, made this video and it got me so hyped. I haven't been this hyped on a one wheel video since like the old school Stro days. No, yeah. So what Stanley's done, if you haven't seen the video yet, he took a GT frame and the big complaint that a lot of people have about the GT is that it's really tall, it's top heavy, it's like really tippy. And what he's done is he actually built custom battery and controller boxes for him and then built custom foot pads for him that dip down below into the battery and controller boxes to drop down the center of gravity similar to an XR style. Then he threw the biggest motor he could find on it, which is a super flux. And then he built a 100 volt split pack in this thing. So this is, this is crazy. Nico, run us through the specs on this bad boy. What are we talking about here? I mean, you about covered it. In the back, we got a 20S 2P battery of a meat pack 50S cells. Uh, so that alone would get us 84 volts. In the front is a custom enclosure that allows just an extra 4S2P pack in the front. So that gets us 24S2P total, uh, which comes out to 100.8 volts. So uh, with that voltage, you can go pretty damn fast. Super fast. So not <laughs> only is it a 100 volt build, but since it's a 2P pack, that means that it's gonna get insane range as well, right? Yep, it's, this isn't like the GTS solution where they get 113 volts, but you get less than GT range. Uh, I can't remember the exact capacity, but something around 860 watt hours. Explain to the people what's the difference between like the GTS battery pack and a build like this, which is like a 2P pack. So the GTS battery pack, that one is 20S, uh, 27S 1P that gets you 113 volts. Uh, so really high voltage, and uh, I'm pretty sure the idea of Future Motion is going for that is they really like to limit how much current goes through the board. So I think they kept the same current limits that they had on their old boards, and that high voltage just lets you get more out of the motor using those lower currents. But with this, this is 24S 2P. What does a 2P mean? So that means you have uh, 24 uh, cells in series and then two uh, cells in parallel. And what that means is uh, the amount of current that uh, one cell can discard, uh, the entire pack can actually put out double that. And yeah, with this pack, uh, you should be getting a lot of torque plus a lot of voltage. You're not sacrificing any range. This is the most range I think we've seen in a one wheel outside of, you know, like backpack batteries. Yeah, outside of charge and ride, like all batteries contained in the board, this thing should have the most range possible out of a one wheel. Oh yeah. Also the most top speed possible out of a one wheel, because like you mentioned, we don't have those same current limits on the VESC platform, right? Correct. And uh, theoretically, the GTS sh could probably go as fast or even faster, uh, but Future Motion, I think, limits that top speed a bit. They don't use as much field weakening, uh, which sacrifices some torque on the top end for a lot more top speed. Uh, but we have plenty of headroom in the torque room, uh, torque wise that we can take advantage of that. And then this super flux motor also gets us a lot more top speed. Yeah, so the hypercore motor, if you've seen, uh, we've been putting out the MTE hub, uh, which the actual stator, the inside of the hypercore motor is fairly small. There's a lot of, uh, room uh, of extra metal that Future Motion uses in their motors. Yeah, so it's a five inch stator yep. on the Hypercore. Yeah, five inch stator. So the idea behind the MTE hub was to decrease the hub size as much as possible uh, and just wrap that around the stator. Uh, the super flux motor is kind of similar, but for six inch. So instead of making the hub smaller, they took the same six inch hub size of the XR and made the stator as big as possible in here. So you have the most powerful stator you can get out of a six inch hub motor. And with that, you can get a way more current through this motor before it saturates and chokes up. So at the same current, it's technically not as torquey as a hypercore, but you can put way more current into it. So you end up getting more torque, 
way more top speed. This this is a this is a heavy board. If you guys thought the GT was heavy, this sucker is heavy. Oh, hang on, let me go get a scale. Ooh, thirty nine and change. It's like float wheel. It's about, float wheel weight. it's about float wheel weight. It might it might be a couple more pounds than float wheel. Maybe it's the difference of the Superflux motor. Maybe the, I don't That's know if the I, Superflux is heavier than the Canicore. I believe the Canicore is slightly heavier. Don't quote ah, me on that. Okay. Uh, but I think it's also important to note, uh, similar to float wheel, actually, we have a split pack in here. So even though it weighs that much, like tipping the board balance wise. I think it's more balanced than a GT. I think you might be right about that. Well, what do you say? Is it is it time to go ride this thing? I think see so. What it can do? We'll see oh, how it rides. Hold on a second. Before we get crazy and do all this, you know, this this is Vesk based, so it was tuned by the original builder, who is Stanley. Stanley, I'm sure you are fantastic at tuning <laughs> Vesks, and you're awesome, and you didn't miss anything, and you totally nailed it. But we're gonna have Nico go through this thing with a fine tooth comb right now and check all your Ooh. limits and all your settings, and then. You know, we're gonna ride it a little bit on your tune, Stanley, but I think we gotta throw my tune up on here afterwards too. You know what? Let's see uh, what free spin speed we can get with no field weakening. Yeah, no field weakening. Final 20, answer? Four, final answer, 40 miles an hour. Okay, we're going by Price is Right rules, so I'm going 40.1. <laughs> 46. 46. That was a little weird. That was a little weird. <laughs> but hey. Free spin speed, okay. full field weakening. Full field weakening, free spin speed. You got your phone recording? Yeah. All right, here we go. Woo! 64 miles an hour. Dude, it started It started rubbing oh, on the yeah. battery box back here too. Yeah. Oh, I was getting rubber in my eyeballs on that now one. Now at those speeds, that tire is gonna start expanding, dude. <laughs> That's freeway speeds. Yeah. That's terrifying. <laughs> I don't think we're hitting those today. It smells like burnt rubber in here right now. All that fun tech stuff out of the way, I think we should just ride this thing, see how it feels. Do you think we're safe to ride now? Are you uh, giving your stamp of approval? Safety compliance officer, Nico? I'll go through the tune real quick, but uh, that shouldn't be anything we need to include in the video. At least Perfect. Right now. So, Perfect. Yeah. I love it. While Nico's getting this thing ready, if we're going to ride above 30 miles an hour, which I have a feeling we're going to get above 30 today, as much as I hate going above 30, we got to tack jack it up. We got to safety first on this one. Stanley's a wild man. He's out there in short shorts, riding like a crazy person. Not me. I'm too old for this. I gotta get safe. So I'm putting on my full tack jacket suit on this one and we're keeping it safe. I don't have a real helmet still. We're still rocking skate helmets, but whatever, we'll be all right. We got tack jacket, stealth bomber, and on top of that, we got the new tack pants, baby. Woo, final prototype. These are almost ready. We're about to hit full production on these. Super psyched, Kevlar aligned. They got these rad little reflective strips on the cuff for nighttime riding, come on. We got hip pads built in, adjustable knee pads that can go up and down. So if you're tall or short, all good. So I'm gonna suit up, we'll see you guys out there. And we're geared up, got the full khaki tack suit going. Oh, I know, it looks pretty cool. Let's just vibe out and cruise on the way. Yeah, see how it feels. Yeah, well good news, the sensor works. That is good. Whoa. Yep, this is definitely a different tune than mine, that's for sure. Yeah, you want yeah. to switch right away or ride it out for a bit? Ah, I'm gonna ride this for a little bit. It's definitely feeling lower. It's feeling a lot more lower and stable than a regular GT. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. How's it feel on the scale XR to GT right now? Well, I mean, come on. It's still, it's still a GT. Fair, fair. It's still a GT. But uh, yeah, I'm also so used to riding five inch hubs as well. Yeah. <laughs> so getting back on a six inch isn't the best, but hey, it feels a lot better than a six, six and a half. Six and a half. That's for sure. It definitely feels like there's still a lot of weight to this thing. It's kind of riding a little bit like how a float wheel rides with all the weight. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you can't really flick it around as much as you can oh, with like yeah. an XR. But maybe that's a good thing if we're gonna be trying to push near 40 on this thing. Yeah, maybe it helps stabilize it at speed, who knows? We'll find out, either that or it's gonna <laughs> do the opposite. <laughs> it will, either it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, we'll find out. Only one way. Yeah, only one way to find out. But I'll tell you what, the foot pads feel real nice on this. These, that's what I'm curious about, because yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of the GT foot pads, and those don't look bad. Yeah, these are pretty nice. I think these are the mushies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just custom mushy foot pads. Let's see how this thing handles in. A little slight grade here. Probably going like mid-20s up this grade. Feels nice. 
feels pretty nice. It's probably yeah. a quick 20, 25. 20, 26 and a half. Yeah. yeah. It's smooth. Man, this thing's a freaking missile, dude. Yeah. Oh, 32.2? I believe it. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. So the fastest I've ever been, <laughs> I think was 34, and that was on the float wheel. Yeah. This thing felt nice this solid. at 32. Like, I felt like I could definitely keep pushing it faster, but I got this thought in my brain as soon as I hit that speed, that was like, damn, if I go down right now? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna suck so really bad. So chasing you down, I was, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's gonna suck real bad. But yeah, it seemed real smooth there at 32. Yeah, it's just mental at that point. It's 100% mental at that point. Like, I felt like it had a lot to go. Oh my God, my max duty cycle that I hit there? 50? 68, dude. 50? 50. Yeah. Get out of here, 50 at 32, get out of here. No, well, I was the hammering thing. the nose. Here's the thing, when you get to those speeds too, uh, duty cycle kind of spikes a lot. Yeah. But field weakening will slowly kick in. So as you approach higher and higher speed, it's probably gonna, like not go much higher than that. This thing is like scary powerful. Yeah. Now I don't 100% love the tune that's on here right now, but yeah. hey, that's easy to change. That's the beauty of Esk. Yes sir, yes sir. It's all good, but holy poop, this thing is fast. <laughs> and the crazy thing about this board too, it's this powerful, but it also gets the range. Oh yeah. That's the crazy thing about it is the range on this is just gonna be nuts. The range plus the high voltage, you can ride Forever. 30 plus miles and then even after that you'll still have so much voltage for top speed crazy so crazy it's probably the safest board that exists right now honestly i mean yeah okay i'm at 50 percent duty cycle sitting at 23 miles an hour she's got room she's got room uh-oh we got some swamp turkeys coming up right here Look out, swamp turkeys. Yeah, 26. 27. We're at 60% duty cycle at 28. All right, let's kill it here. Woo, yeah, my eyes are watering. What we're gonna do, I think a good idea would be to go back, go to that road again, and I think setting top speed on that road is gonna be the move. Nico, you want to try this bad boy out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Here, if you want to hold the phone yeah, while sure. you're at it. I got you. Now that's an iPhone. It's going to feel a little different in your hand <laughs> than what you're used to, okay? He's an Android guy. I can feel the power of Tim Cook already. Yeah. Hold up there for a second. I want to see if the speedometer works. Okay. I haven't even ridden this thing yet. We're doing a speed test right away? Shit. That's a real comfy 25. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely more air in this tire than I'm used to though. 26 through 29. Oh, I only hit big. like 25, something like okay, that. Okay, so there so. you go. 26 seems pretty, I think this thing works. I think we're gonna be able to use it. <laughs> Psyched. Let's, let's, do, let's do a drag race test on this really quick. We can try. I was gonna say with these bumps, it's a little more air in this tire than I'm used to, but. Oh, uh, shoot. I can't push, push. That's a good but. point. Well, hey, let's drag real quick. Yeah, you got yeah. the power. Ready? Count right. us down, Julian. Now you says tune. <laughs> hey. There we go. You forget hole shot Nico. I'm the original <laughs> hole shotter. No, I went to push and the nose was just like on the pavement. Oh, was it really? Yeah, yeah. We gotta fix it's that tune. Soft nose, yeah. We gotta fix that tune up. Yeehaw. Man, it's so scary how easy this thing hits 25. Like it just goes 25 like it's 15. It's nuts. Like, I, I mean, I, I feel pretty comfortable saying like, if you like the GT platform yeah. and you value speed and range, this is the ultimate board. Uh, straight up, there's no yeah. beating this when it comes to speed and range on a GT platform. I gotta say it felt Pretty nice under the feet too. Yeah, not that bad. I like those foot pads better than stock for sure. Oh, for sure. These foot pads are great, especially with them being like 
way thinner and yeah, lower. Yeah. You feel lower. Yeah, you definitely feel lower. It's nice. Still feels like a GT, I will say. It still feels like a GT, but if you like the GT feeling and you want speed and you want range, build it, this board. It does make me wonder where that feeling comes from, you know? Yeah, right, if it's like, if it's not necessarily the center of gravity or All whatever. All that's really left is the thickness of the rails. <laughs> I think the thickness of the rails do make a pretty big difference. I wonder how this thing is gonna bonk. Cause we have, <laughs> my favorite bonk in town is up here, off this parking block, the second one. And we're gonna see how she bonks. Dude, that free spin? I know, I'm kind of afraid the free spin's just gonna go crazy. <laughs> with a phone in hand. How'd she feel? It felt like the tire free spun and deformed and rubbed against the <laughs> yeah. fender delete pieces and then came back down. I believe it. But it felt pretty solid. Oh, Jesus, that was scary. Oh, I didn't think about slashes, oh, man. Slashes are a whole new beast on this <laughs> thing. Dude, that thing just spun backwards at like 100 miles an hour on that slash. That was crazy. Usually on the slashes, you can like get your tail down and kind of kick it sideways and drift for a bit. This one's just like, it just rah! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Holy heck. All right, up to the top of the hill. Time, 11.03. Voltage, 97.8. Forecast, speed. We ready to try to hit Stanley's record or possibly pass it? All right, here we go. I'm keeping my phone out. If I fall, phone dies with me. Let's go. Those trucks were making me way too nervous. I could I could have pushed way faster, but those trucks were freaking me out. They had trucks pulling in from both sides. We gotta re-rack that one. I think I only hit 33. Still plenty fast, but not fast enough. Oh, I went 53 according to the <laughs> radar gun that doesn't work. Eat your heart out, Stanley. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this radar gun works at all. All right, temp number three on the downhill. I think we got it this time. Those trucks freaked me out last time. It was way too much. Yep. All right, here we go. Go fast, don't die. Oh my God, it can go so much faster, but I'm too scared. I'm too scared to go faster. I don't know if I can do it. 35.8 on that one. And I got that little tingling in my balls when I hit that top speed. And that 75% duty cycle, are you kidding me? It can go faster and the board feels so stable and able to go faster. And I'm just like scared to push it any further. I'm telling you, it feels so stable at that no, speed. It's not just, it's not. Oh my God, that's what's going on. Yeah. What's up? Woo! Think we should probably fix that before I hit another speed record? Fuck, dude. <laughs> what Stanley got us right? Stanley, what is this death trap? <laughs> All right, back to the shop. No, no, I think I got it. Back to the, you got a uh, tool? I don't know if I have on that one. Pray for me, boys. <laughs> Here he goes. Big hole there. Turns out, turns out there's a big hole in the road right there. What's up? We go, go scope that hole in the road one more time, make sure I don't hit it. It can get up to 30 comfortable. And then oh, 30 yeah. to 35 is very uncomfortable. And then anything over that, I got this blockage in my brain that it just it's, won't let me stand on the nose anymore. It's a mental block, dude, because you're used to that being the top end. Well, I'm used to the top end being even yeah. lower than that. So I feel yeah. like I'm already pushing the top exactly. end, but. Exactly. I only got to 70% spike on the duty cycle on that one, even with pushing the nose down, so. Really? Yeah, let me get a, let me get a couple more, a couple more. I think right. I can beat that score. <laughs> if I can hit 38 today, I'll be happy with the 38. That's a scary leaderboard to be pushing, my man. I can't believe I just said that sentence. 
up over the hill, no, get this. comfy with speed, and then jam it. He doesn't think he does, but he's got this. Oh, he's already cooking. He started lighting off by the time he got over here, but I think that was faster. <laughs> it looked pretty dang fast. Faster than I've ever seen anyone else go on a one wheel. That's for damn sure. Okay. Can this board do 40? Yes. Did I do 40? Or will I do 40? No. <laughs> no, I will not do 40. But I think this is a very, very solid speed to end on right here. We ended on 36.9. That's what I thought. Miles an hour. Yes, sir. And that's as fast as I'm ever going the rest of my entire life on a one wheel. <laughs> this is a high water mark for Jeff that will never be beat by Jeff. Maybe Wes one day, but not me. I'm done. So Nico, do you want to go wild out there? Uh, I can give it a feel, see how it feels on this tire, but uh... Feel free. It start At that speed, it does start to get a little, a little bit wobbly. wobbly. Yeah. yeah. I changed my foot position. I usually ride close to the no, tire. you want to go wide for that. I went wide with this one, yeah. yeah. And it, it definitely felt a little more stable, but at that speed, without perfectly smooth ground, yeah. it starts to get scary, for sure. So feel free to play with the PSI, get wild with it, but I am officially done. I'm <laughs> never touching that board again, except for the range test video. If you guys want to see a range test video, let us know down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, helps the algorithm, do the YouTube stuff, or don't just go outside and start riding right now. But I think uh, I'm going to call it there unless Nico does something wild. Stick around for after the credits and we'll have Nico's uh, best compilation hits from the speed run. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Oh, I need to go. I need to go have a kava or something right now. <laughs> my heart is going crazy. Float on, my friends.